Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay. Thank you for stopping by. I don't know why all of a sudden I turn into, who would that even be? Thank you for stopping by. I don't know that First thing I thought of was like someone at the circus, but like they don't, did they talk like that? Girl, I haven't been to a circus in so long and I'm not going to a circus. Okay, whatever, I'm rambling. You guys know what I mean. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got this little holiday glam look for you guys. If you guys are going to, you know, a family party or a friend party, or if you're just going to party on your couch, then you know what? Wear this look. Wear it wherever you want, girl. If you, even if you're just going to get a little milkshake somewhere, wear this look. <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing my holiday glam look, then just keep on watching. So my first steps into my holiday glam look was to obviously curl my hair. I, I don't know, I could always record a hair video one day for you guys, but I am not a hair person. Like, this is just like mediocre curls where I burn my neck a tiny bit. You can't see it because it's not that bad, but it's one of those ones where you're curling it and you go, because you, <laughs> you get your neck a little bit. It's like one of those. And yeah, I just, I don't know, mediocre at best. Next, I did my skin. I'm actually really proud of my eyebrows today. My eyebrows are just such a fight, like, every single time, but I think they look pretty great today. And in case you guys are wondering what I use for my eyebrows today, I use the e.l.f. little pomade that they have in the shade Light Brown. And then I went in with my foundation. My little combo that I've been using right now is the e.l.f. mixed with the Maybell Maybelline foundation. This one's too light, and this one's just a tad bit too dark. It looked like online that it would have been the perfect shade, but it was just, like, just a tad bit too orange, so... Mix these two together. For concealer, I use this Milani one. And then, I mean, I just contoured and blushed, but I also went in, hopefully y'all can pick up this cute highlight. I went in with the Diamond Wet Highlight. It kind of has like a little bit of like some glitter flex to it. So I felt like that was super cute for like, you know, that cute little holiday glam look. So my eyelids are already primed. Um, I used the Eden Eyeshadow Primer. It's one of my favorites. Today I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette, the collaboration that she did with Morphe like a couple of years ago. I think it's a really nice palette if you are just someone who likes a lot of warm tones because there's barely any cool tones in there but I think this is such a good palette for someone if you just want one palette and not have to buy like so many different ones but then there's me that has so many different other palettes but just wanted this one you know why not I have the like OG palette that doesn't have I don't I think the new one has like a mirror inside and it also has like the shade names on the inside I think but mine's like the very first batch so I have this little name card here so I can like look down so I can tell you guys the exact shades I'm using and not just say like Oh, that shade, you know, the red one, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going in with this shade Pukey first, and I'm just going to take it directly into my crease. Alright, taking Pukey, and I'm also going to add it in my outer crease as well. Just a smidge to each side, just because when I have those darker colors, it'll be a little bit easier to blend out. Alright, next on a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Buns right here. Alright, I'm going back in with that first fluffy brush just to kind of make sure everything blends together. With that same 224 brush from MAC, I'm going to go in with the shade Chip right here. Alright, and I'm just going to ch take Chip and I'm going to add it right here to my outer crease. Alright, so I want this look to look a little like dark and smoky, which is something that I'm totally like, not that I'm not used to it, but you know something out of my usual routine you might say. So I'm gonna use this dark green shade down here called Diva. All right, and with this flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics, I'm going to take the shade Diva, spritz just a little bit of some setting spray. This is from Rummel, so it's not one that I'm really worried about like wearing on my face. I like to use Fix Plus or something else. And I'm just gonna take it and add it on the lid and bring it in just right here to the middle. clean brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics is the Detailed 
crease brush and no product on it at all. I'm just going to take it and start just buffing out that harsh line right there. So for now, I'm just going back and forth, and I'm not taking it all the way over. I'm just going back and forth. Sometimes you got to be a little bit patient, patient with this type of process. That just looks so much better to me. I can honestly stop with um, the eyeshadows at this point, but I'm going to go in with the black shade right here, which is called Abyss, and just add that to my outer crease. <laughs> Really quick, I'm just going to go back in with that detailed crease brush and I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines that I see. Alright, so I have my top lid all done. That black, the shade Abyss, kind of gave me some trouble. I had to like go back in and like blend it out so many times and like use like a setting um, powder to kind of like crisp up the lines. So I mean it could have been my bad like maybe I was applying it funky. But All right so with this flat brush I can't remember where I got it from. I think it's from Coastal Scents like a couple of years ago. I'm going in with that first shade Pukey and I'm just going to start by smoking out the under eye. And I'm just connecting where this smoky side is into my under eye right here. I have that shade Buns that I used earlier and I'm just going to add that as well just to smoke it out. Now I don't add a lot of product towards the inner corner of my eye because I just don't want it to look so harsh all around my eye. So I kind of just keep it more back here. I literally pulling it at the end of my brush or you know kind of more towards the end of the brush I could say. I just noticed when I hold it at the end of my brush versus like obviously right here because if you hold your brush right here you're going to add a lot more pressure therefore more of a harsh line. So if you hold your brush like in the middle or more like in the back then you're going to have you know less chance of a harsh line. Back with that detailed crease brush from e.l.f. and I just take it and I run it underneath everything just to make sure that it's all blended out. Okay, now obviously you can add a little bit more of like a darker brown or a black to the under eye if you want to, but I'm just going to stick with just that shade Pukey and Buns because I just don't want it to be so dark underneath my eyes. One thing that I did forget to do to my top lid is I'm going to take that shade Diamond Wet, the highlighter from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm just going to take it with my finger, I literally like you just saw I tapped it and then I'm just going to press it on top just to add a little bit more of like a glitter reflect. camera I just did my eyeliner I don't know why whenever I do eyeliner I always do that it's just like the weirdest habit you pick up when you start like making videos I don't know so I did my eyeliner I just did like a little band I didn't do a wing but if you guys want this look could definitely have a wing attached to it but I just felt like for me personally like I never do like a lot of black in like my outer crease area over here so I just felt like it would look kind of camouflaged if I put like a black eyeliner there like a black wing so I just skipped it for today. Also off camera, I went in with one of my favorite mascaras from Thrive Cosmetics. And another thing, if you guys noticed, I put it on my bottom lashes as well. I don't do that a lot, but you know, for a holiday glam look, you have to. You gotta go all out, you know? So I did an inner corner highlight and I used two different things. First, I went in with the jelly highlighter. Does this have a shade name on it? Looks like it's bubbly, but I'll research and I'll put it right here or right here, wherever I end up putting it. But it's one of the jelly highlighters from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I honestly really like these to use as like a base before I put on any highlight, like on my face, on my nose, inner corner, because I feel like it just makes your other highlight pop so much. And then on top of the jelly highlighter, I went in with Diamond Wet, of course. And you know what I was noticing as I was doing like my eyeliner and everything? You probably won't be able to see on camera because the glitters are so tiny but I'm like covered maybe not covered in glitter but like I found one in my eyebrow right there and I mean like right here I have some so I'm just a bunch of glitter today I mean look my freaking sweater has glitter all over it so I guess I'm setting the mood by having glitter everywhere for 
The last and final step, put on your lipstick before you leave. Yes, you'll be eating, you know, the holiday dinners, but you want to walk in that door looking fine, looking glam. So today I'm going in with the shade Wifey from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <music> Here is the final look that I have created just for you. I just feel like this is such a cute little holiday glam. You gotta, you gotta have your little green and you gotta have your perfect red lip. I feel like reds are just the perfect time, you know, around the holidays. You can definitely wear it wherever and people are gonna be like, oh my god, that's such a beautiful red, perfect for the holidays. And I definitely feel like wifey is perfect. And if you guys aren't subscribed, you know, don't forget to subscribe and like my video and don't forget to comment. Honestly, I say this in a lot of videos, but I love when you guys comment because I just, I don't know, I like interacting with people. I like getting feedback. I like just talking about makeup with people and my friends. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for watching today's video on how to get this holiday glam look. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and happy holidays. Bye.